Hi, this is Rob Franklin from the Half Moon Bay Review. I'm here with John and Paulina, who are two co-side locals who are being featured on House Hunters, um, and they're about to show us the house that they picked on the show. This is John, and that's Paulina. Hello. <laughs> I guess we'll start with giving you guys a tour? Yeah, absolutely. Alright. Uh, well, when we were deciding on house areas in uh, the co-side, El Granada was the top of our choice. We were okay. El Granada, then Montera. Mock Beach and then have some with the yeah. in there. The, the market in general, I knew it hadn't recovered quite as quickly as Over the Hill has. You know, okay. Berlin Game, I mean, of course, those types of areas had really kind of shot up, and Happen Bay had yet to do that. It's kind of done that this year. And I think it's just going to kind of go up and up and up. I mean, you've got a great place to live, lots of nature. Um, it's a cool area. So I think that it's going to kind of continue to rise over our lifetime. So here's our kitchen. One of the things we did want, well, something that was on our wish list, was a big, spacious kitchen, a lot of cooking areas. John, the you know Chef Emerald, he loves cooking in the uh -huh. kitchen. So we got our big kitchen. We yeah. didn't get our big upgraded, brand new appliances. So that is something that we still we're like that. yeah definitely going to redo these counters, cabinets. But overall, we love the layout of the kitchen. So this is our master suite. This is probably my favorite area of the house. I definitely spend a lot of time here. Of course, I have my big old bathroom here with the double sinks. We have a jet tub, separate shower, separate bathroom. So I just love all the space I have here and all the storage space. One thing we also love is this double-sided fireplace here. That's pretty cool. We've never had a fireplace in our bedroom before. So that was an awesome feature. Working with the bank, you know, trying to get everything with a, a, a bank-owned property, it was really stressful. And Julia was awesome. She, you know, kind of got in with the bank. She got us all this insider information. I mean, she was just great to work with. And she was, you know, huge. She was really instrumental in helping us get this house. We Same. would have been completely lost without her dealing with the bank and not knowing what the heck we were doing. This is the one ocean view that we have here. It's a little bit overcast today. I don't know if you can see it, but right oh, over there is the harbor, and then off in the distance, you can see some Mavericks if it's a nice day. We do, and that is one of the things we loved about this house, all the outdoor areas, in addition yeah. to the awesome indoors. But one of the things we were looking for was a really walkable area. Yeah. And we love this area of El Granada. I walk with her about two miles a day. It's really hilly here, and we love it. I, that's the only exercise I ever get, so it works for us. We kind of think of this as our family room. Anytime we have a lot of guests, especially family with small kids over, they just love staying in this room. It's so big. They have the big TV. And it's pretty soundproof, too. You actually can't hear anything once this door is closed. So it's really good for you know people with babies, too, and sleeping. Yeah. So we love this room. And it's like a cave. This is my compromise. Yeah. I didn't want all the light it's in the really house. <laughs> this room's so dark, no windows. Once that door is closed, it is like my cave. So I do take naps here a lot. <laughs> and this eventually we want to turn into kind of a game room area. So yeah. Get rid of the carpet, get some tile down, maybe a pool table or a shuffleboard. Uh, this will kind of be our hangout area eventually. Um, we've got a, another bedroom or another bathroom in there, a couple bedrooms in here. We might turn one of them into an office mm -hmm. eventually, but as you can see, we have more space than we need, so yeah, we'll it's it's <laughs> huge out here. figure out a way to fill it up eventually. Wow, you guys bought at the perfect time. So we feel like all the cards just really lined up and everything really worked out for us. Yeah, well, like I said, we got really lucky, so I'm happy about it. To conclude the tour, surprise, we have a pool <laughs> on the coast side. Yeah, as you um, can see, it's definitely a, uh, a boat house. So yeah. that's pretty evident by this view here. The nautical theme is definitely pretty cool, and it kind of ties the house into the coast side when we have out-of-town visitors. They're just like, wow, this is really like a house by the beach. So it's pretty cool. We definitely love this house now. Debating for a small time, do you want a small house or a big house? Uh, we kind of figured it was a good buying time, prices were still low, yeah. mortgage rates were still low, so we figured, well, let's just stretch a little bit and try and go for our kind of forever house. So we decided to go big, and uh, we're happy about it because prices have all gone up since. Yeah, we're happy about it. I would say to do your homework 
you know, scout the area, go see some houses, um, figure out your finances, what you can spend, what you can afford. Um, if you're young, I'd say save. I think owning a house is huge for retirement purposes. Uh, so the earlier you can get your house, I think it's a plus. So save, 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 and budget. I'd say find a good realtor. Find a good realtor, a good mortgage person. Find somebody you trust, somebody who's going to be aggressive and act fast and have your best interests at heart. We really lucked out with the team that we had working and helping with us. Helping us. Well, thank you so much for giving us a tour of the house. Um, it's great. We love it. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah.